It's your boy Grid. I'm here with Christian Smith on Witty Smitty News. Fuck with your boy, huh? Witty Smitty News here. It's Christian Smith. I'm joined with J.O. What up, bro? Good to see you. Thanks for having me, bro. Thanks for joining me. So we're here at High Voltage. Uh, what battles are you looking forward to tonight? Oh, man. Uh, there's a lot of fire ones on this card, but as for the one I'm looking forward to the most, I'm going to say Mac and Artifact. Mm. Just because I think Artifact is a new kind of breed, man. He's a killer of his own style. I'm just, I'm just stoked for him, man. It's crazy. Yeah, it's actually one I'm probably looking forward to the most, or Grid and Grips. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Because they've been Someone's talking a that. lot of stuff online. <laughs> I think it's going to be solid. Yeah, it's going to be fire. So the main event tonight, two-on-two, two, or well, we're thinking yeah, it's supposed it's to be the two-on-two. Two. Yeah. Uh, would you ever do a two-on-two? Two? Um, I would. Um, Who would your partner be? I would have to say Scythe, for sure. Mm. Uh, stick in the Sky Dome kind of thing. The only way I would do it is if we had a lot of prep time. We do mm. live in different cities, you know. Yeah. I don't want to be over Skype, nothing like that, but I would do a two on two. So, so what about your name, J.O.? How did you come up with that? Actually, man, J.O. isn't even an MC name. It's uh, I've been called J.O. since like the sixth grade. You know, it's my initials for one, but uh, I've just had that nickname my whole life. Yeah. So what got you into battle rap? First battle you saw, when did you first start writing? Did you make music before battle rap or did you just get right into battle rap first? Um, I was definitely a fan for a while. I mean, first battle was probably Sirius Jones Murder Mook. Mm. Um, that's what really got me into it. It was competitive, right? I'm a competitive guy. Yeah, my uh, first battle was Mook and Mills. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah. Um, I actually did write a little bit of music beforehand, and then I got the opportunity from uh, Steve Inc. to come in battle. I tried it out. Mm. got addicted. That's actually, it's funny you bring up Steve Inc. So mm. that was your first on cam battle with Steve Inc., and that was back in 2013. So do you approach writing for a battle differently now than you did back then, if you can even remember how you wrote for him back then? Definitely. I mean, you know, it was almost like a few days notice kind of thing, throw things together. Mm -hmm. Now I like having my material done, memorized, two yeah. weeks prior. Right. right. I take it a lot more serious. Um, it was fun back then. It was just kind of a thing to do, you know, going to a party and rapping. Mm -hmm. And was that your actual first time battling or just your first time battling on cam for a league? Um, I actually battled one time on cam Garden City Battles before that, but we didn't get the footage back. And uh, before that, it was just, you know, a lot of smoke pit at parties, freestyling. Yeah. So your first Beast Mode battle was versus Froze's The Dawn back in 2014. Yep. How was it rapping in front of the Beast Mode crowd, crowd for your first time? It was honestly, it was great. I could tell from the get-go that they were a very respectable group. Um, you know, they support new talent. Even if, let's say, it's not the best, they'll support you. And right off the get-go, they were, they were showing me love. So it was great felt comfortable so you started off very hot six and one had an absolutely classic battle with locust one of the more impressive runs to the title uh, what do you think your hardest battle out of all of them was leading up to the title match or even if you want to include just def and z hana okay was your um, toughest battle truly uh live it felt like my toughest opponent was actually corms the cancerous mm. just because the style clash was a little overwhelming so it really came down to who had the better material and he had great material. I still think to this day, if he wouldn't have choked, it would have been very debatable. With every battle, because I, I watched everything before the interview just to catch up. I'd seen most of it, but more of the old battles I hadn't seen. I feel each battle you progress. Is there any certain steps you take to make sure you progress with each battle? Because especially after the Z Hunt battle, I think yeah. that was one of the most impressive performances you've had to date. Thank you. Um, I definitely do watch my footages back and. I pause many times after a bar I don't like. Um, I just try to improve in every single aspect of hip hop. You know what I mean? Not just punches, not just what the fans want to hear. I want to improve for me as well. And uh, I'm a perfectionist, so it takes a lot to do that. And I think I just put more effort each time. So what about future beast mode opponents? Who are you looking at maybe taking on? Right now, actually on my radar, if he's with it, I want to battle Kali C, man. Mm. In Toronto, He's. Uh, I think he's dope. I think it's right for both of us, it makes sense, you know what I mean? Uh, as for that, if Lev wants to come to Toronto and lose that belt, hey. I'm here, I'm here. Hey. See, that's what I like to hear, man. That's one thing I noticed. It's actually kind of pissing me off. The belt's finally out of Toronto. Yep. It's never been out of Toronto. Sure. And I, I just feel like no one's really lipping and tr trying to take that belt from him. I feel like no one's really called him out or anything. I agree. Like, I feel like... I don't know, it's just weird to me. I feel like a defense is yeah. he needs, to, needs to happen soon for he me. He needs to defend it very soon. And um, as for people not wanting it, um, I think they just don't want that commitment. Mm. But if you don't have that commitment, then how true are you to hip hop? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's your yeah. city, why wouldn't you want the belt back? And to win a title, like it's a big thing, man. It's a big thing, huge thing. And um, yeah, it's, it should be in T.O. Because you know, BMTO mm -hmm. started all this. Yeah. Shows to BM, 
New York, of course. Lex. Yeah, they're killing it. Every the, the battles they've been dropping lately yeah, have been fire. Though, but that belt's ours. So I saw you black out a couple weeks ago, uh, <laughs> judging battle rap, psychosis. Joe and I, they had a judge battle. Yep. Do you think that more league should actually be judging more battles? All right, if you want my honest opinion, I don't agree with promo battles at all. Mm. Um, if you hear about all battles from the past, you never heard promo? I mean, I'm not talking battle rap. I'm talking, you know, an actual battle, a war, let's say. There always has to be a winner. Yeah. I think there, there is no winner. It's just kind of who wants to tie, right? No, yeah, I'm the same, man. I, I hate the non-judging. Yeah. The only thing that I guess I can agree with is there's no clear-cut way to judge a battle. Yeah. Like, I if it was me, instead of just going round to round, I feel you got to score like a UFC fight. Oh, points. So, like, 10-8, 10-9, yep. things like that. I think that would be the best way to do it if you could figure out a proper way. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, say you get two points for lyrics, two points for performance, something like that. Exactly. If you choke, it's an automatic loss of a point. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's definitely a lot of ways that they could look at it and do it in a proper way where there's no gray area and yeah. the, it's actually solid judging system. I agree, I agree, 100%. So one last question here. What's your end goal for this? You want to fight for the title again? You want to get to ground zero, king of the dot, don't flop, wherever? Um, as for an end game, I would say I definitely want to be on king of the dot main stage. That's what I, that's what I started for. Um, I want a GZ this year. 100%, but as for before then, I'm telling you, the only thing on my radar is Lev and Kali. Mm. That's all that's on my radar right now. Yeah, oh, that's what I like to hear. So tell them who you're listening to right now. Uh, Christian Smith, Witty Smitty News, I'm out. Peace, thanks for joining me, man. Uh,